This chain is a great first one to start with. It's a daisy chain. And I've chosen some green beads for the stem, some blue beads for my flower petals, and some larger orangey beads for the center of the flower. Now these are size eights, and this is a size six. I've put my stopper bead on my thread and I've waxed my thread. I've cut a couple of meters of thread, probably about, work with about a meter is probably good for you. I've got a nice long tail of about 10 inches so I can thread a clasp on the other end with my stopper bead. And I've already loaded up for my first flower. So I've got five stem beads and I've threaded eight flower petal beads and I'm going to slide them down to my stopper bead and I'm ready to begin. Now this is a great first project for anyone and it's good because it's, it's a good way to get used to keeping your tension nice because tension is important in this one. So I'm holding, see I've got the thread held my finger there nice and firmly and I'm going to go down to the very first flower bead that was threaded and I'm just going to take my needle through there. Now to keep it so that it's, I've got a good tension, if you put your finger on it, that keeps the tension. And then you can bring up your thread. And you see as it comes up, see the beads aren't moving. And then I can pull nice and tight. And you can see now I've got my little ring of flowers there ready to go. And my stem. Now I'm going to pick up, I want to put the center in the middle, which is my six mil bead. I'm going to slide it down so you can see. Okay, so now as you can see, the thread is coming out of here. I want to go through my fourth bead and I'm going to go in this direction through there because that will cross the thread over and pop that bead in the middle. So how I do that is just pick it up and even if it's for the first way, if you're not sure, just lay that down there like that. So one, two, three, four beads or one, two, three, four and I'm going to go up in that same direction. Do you see that? And then as I bring it up, you'll see that other bead just pops in the middle there. You see that? And then I can just pull it up and make sure that my tension's nice all the way around. And I've got my first little flower. And I'm ready to begin again. So we'll just do that again. One, two, three, four, five stems. Eight petals. And it's always good just to count them on your needle. So one, two, three, four, five stem and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flower petals. It's all good to go. Slide it down to the end. <clears throat> and then again, hold it around your finger. Go through that first bead again. Hold my finger on there to keep my tension. Pull it up in a nice circle, pull on it to get the tension. So there it is. On with my, my center of my flower. Now remember, we're coming out this way. We want to go through the fourth bead, one, two, three, four, in the same direction. So just hold it there in place same direction so that it's coming that way and as I bring it up you'll see that the little the little center pops into place I can pull up my tension and then I'm all ready to go again now you can continue along for as long as you want with this it's a great little project you could make it just as a little short bracelet or you could just carry on and carry on and make it as a lovely long necklace uh, or a short necklace whatever you like so what have I got one two three four five six seven eight so I'll just show you one more three four five six 
through that first bead again. Nice and tight. Bring down my center bead and then go through the one, two, three, four. Now, if you come to wanting to the end of your bracelet and you want to put on your clasp, so I would just add on my last five stem beads and then I'm ready to attach a clasp here. So that's your simple daisy chain. I thought I'd show you a variation on the simple daisy chain that we've just made. Now obviously an easy one is you can extend the length of these little stamens in between or these little stems in between and you can make them much longer so if you were doing you know like a long necklace you could have even nine or ten or eleven beads in between your flowers another thing you can do is you can add in more flowers so what i've done here is i've still got my stems and my centers and my dark blue petals but i've also brought in some light blue petals as well so again, it's exactly the same. I thread on my eight beads. I'm not going to put a stem in at all. I'm going to come right off this flower. So again, just like before, I'm going to hold it firmly and bring my needle straight back through the first petal, just like we always do. And holding it in place, bring it up and keep my tension. So now I've got my petal coming straight off here and I'm going to slide down my center just like before. And again, I'm coming out this way. I'm going to come up through this way. So just hold your thread down and out of the way and come up through the one, two, three, four in that direction. Bring up your thread and pop it in place and so now I've got a second bead next to my first and I'll just do that again I now I'll bring in another one one two three four five six seven eight just exactly the same way but instead of putting in that stem I'm actually going straight off the flower now it makes a fantastic centerpiece to a bracelet or a necklace by just having all the flowers one next to each other. It's a really nice way of making that center focal. So again, just more of the same. So you see it's quite easy. You can do so much with this little simple pattern. There we go. So now we've got three flowers in the middle and I might put another couple and then go back to the single ones to make the other side of my bracelet. So that's how you do a variation on those beads. This next chain is a variation of a flower clasp that I make. It only uses two colours and they're both the same size beads and you can make them in any size that you like. I'm using size 8 here. And you start with your thread. You don't need a stopper bead for this. And I'm starting with four of one color and one of my contrast. Now, if you were making this into a flower, you could make that, you know, the petals in this, the flower. But this is a great one if you don't necessarily want the look of, um, you know, flowers. So I've got my four beads and my contrast. And then I'm going to go back in the opposite direction. So I've threaded this way and I'm going to go back in the opposite direction through that first bead and that will pull up my threads. And it's sort of given me half of my flower. Then what I do is I pick up two more beads and I'm going to go around that center one and then continue around the circle and go through the last bead which is actually the fourth bead that I picked up. So when I pull it up I've got a nice little flower there 
or a nice little design. Now I'm going to add another flower next to it. So to do that, if you think about it, these two are going to be the two joining beads. So these are my first two beads. So I add up two more, which would make my four beads, just like before. And then one more, which is my contrast. So when I pull them down, you see I've got, just like we did with the first flower, one, two, three, four beads. And then I've got my contrast bead. And just like we did before, I go through that bead going down. And that will give me half of my petal. So now when I add my last two beads, just like in the first flower, and go around here and up, I've completed the circle. So now I've got two. So to carry on again, exactly the same, if these two are my first two, I add on my second two, then my contrast, and again, as you see, if I slide them down, one, two, three, four, and my contrast, so then I go back through the first bead, that gives me half, and so I just need to put the other two around here, so then I go up through there, and then that completes my circle. So I'll show you again, because it can be a little complicated, I do understand. So we've got our two beads here. We add on our next two to make our four and our contrast center. So you can see one, two, three, four in the center, back through that first bead, going down. And then it's just two more beads to go around my center and then back up through that end bead so that I'm completing my circle around. And then just pull up your tension, get it all nice. And that's the chain. What I'm going to do now is just show you how to prepare for a clasp. So I'm coming out of here, which was my last uh, daisy, and then I'm going to thread on three beads, three beads. Then uh, you can use whatever clasp you like here. I'm going to use just the crystal and then another bead. Then I'll take my needle back down through the bead and through that first dark blue bead and then I'll pull it all up so that it's all nice and tight and to do that you can just pinch on this end bead and push it all up and then pull it up so that it's all nice and firm. Then I need to add in two extra beads which I'll just get now and then I'm going to go back, so I came out of here, I'm going to go back across through here. And so that's all in place. And now to firm that up, you just need to really go up and around and down again. And then you can um, just weave back down and tie off. A great variation of the double daisy bracelet is to add some beads down the side and you do that after you've added one end of your clasp. So I've added one end of my clasp and I'm going to bring my needle down to the side here just through one bead at the side and pull it up and then I'll pick up a contrast bead which is a blue one and I'll go through see the bottom bead of the next Daisy. So I'll just go through there and pop that little bead in there. Another one, go through the next. Uh, 
go through the next. So you see it's quite easy, but it actually makes your bracelet a little bit more substantial if you want one to be not so. I mean, the fine bracelet is lovely, but if you're, you know, wanting something a bit more substantial or a bit more chunky, then you can add in onto the side like this. So once you've added in all the way down, then you can also, you add your clasp at the other end and then come all the way back and tie off your thread. So I'm now coming out here just as I was at the other end. I'm going to pick up two blue beads as we did before and or two light blue and one contrast and slide that down. And now what I need to do, and this little tail thread, um, what we'll do is we'll weave that in later and get rid of it. Um, what we need to do now is do we need to make a loop that's going to be big enough to go over here and secure our bracelet. So you can try just picking up and um, you know maybe 15 or so beads and then making a little loop with it and, and trying it out to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now what I'm going to do is just temporarily put that back down there and slide it up and have a look to see how we fit. So will that, if I hold it in position, will that go through there? Mm, yeah, maybe one more bead. It's okay actually. I might put one more in and see. So now I've got double thread. So it's very easy to come out with your needle when you've got double thread because you just pull your thread backwards and your needle comes out backwards and you just line it up with your bead and it just pops out. So it's never a problem if you've got double thread. So I'm going to just try one more bead I'll pop that in and make my circle and see what happens and try this one. So it doesn't matter what bead you use, you can just, you know, try it out to see if it'll fit. Oh, I think that's better. Yeah, so that was 16 beads and I think that's better. That goes through quite easily or maybe too easily. No, I think that will be good. Okay, so I've got my 16 beads added on. Then all I need to do is add two more. And then I'm going to come around here and through here, just like I did at the other end. And bring that up. And then the thing to do is just finally, which I'll do it now, go back up through these two, through the middle bead, and then I'll go all the way around the circle one more time, You can see I've come all the way around the circle and now I want to go back through the middle bead then the two side beads one two so you see by work, working the way around now this clasp is very very strong because it's actually got four lots of threads going through it because my thread is doubled. So now I'm in position to go down the side and add beads at the other side of my bracelet. So I'll just go through the first bead here 
and then I'll start adding in and I want it to be the same as the other side so I might go through this one as well before I add in a bead so I'll go through this one that's looking good and now I can start adding the blue beads down the side by just all the way down and tie off your thread Thank you. 